I think the thumbnail and title is more than enough of an intro to this video. After a collective 42 hours of live streaming the process across 17 different streams within the past 12 weeks, I have made a digital replica of the City of David in Unreal Engine 5, modeling it primarily off of this image along with some supplementary archaeological sources and some showcase replicas. There will be a link to a free download of the project in the description of the video. If you are watching this within the weekend this video is uploaded, it may not be there at the moment as I have some tweaks to make before setting up the downloadable link. If you are watching this after Monday, December 19th, head to the description for the free download of the City of David project. Now it's time for me to sell out before we get into the time lapse. If you want to get right into the time lapse and skip my rambling, then feel free to use the video chapters. For those of you that didn't skip, welcome to The Explanations, a channel where we primarily break down fictional media from a Christian perspective with emphasis on stories that twist the Bible. We have a plethora of videos on those topics that you can check out. But recently, I've been a bit burnt out on making videos detailing how the material of the top fictional franchises of our time blatantly twist the word of God into the material, especially tackling it from the perspective of a Christian who made these things a literal part of their identity growing up. Oftentimes, people throw around the line, it's just fiction which is something we don't deny and come up with all manners of justification to suffice why the Bible being twisted is not that big of a deal to them as Christians and that we are overreacting and being cynical. But for me personally, when recent comics are littered with lines like these in almost what feels like every single issue, as well as scenes like these that can be found on Disney Plus. Likely because folks were not ready for such blasphemy and seeing a sorcerer slit a priest's throat with the blood Bro. splatting all over the Bible. There is no afterlife. And I can prove it to you. No one can prove such a thing. I can. Watch. Notice that the book of Cagliostro is placed over the Bible as though Satan's lies trump the word of God. Oh. I can't view it the same way even though I once was a diehard fan of the material. But that's for me personally. So because of this, I've started a mini-series covering unsung Bible stories you probably haven't heard about and this initiative to do Christian creative projects ranging from making replicas of different places in the Bible to recreating scenes from Christian fictional films into a small-scale video game. Using Unreal Engine, which is the same game engine that games like Fortnite, Gotham Knights and others use. So if you are intrigued by this type of content, then please consider leaving a like on the video and even subscribing with post notifications so you never miss an upload and even sharing the channel with others. That's enough selling out, let's get into what you clicked on this video for. This project is a challenge for myself as I want to get into game development with the intent of making industry standard Christian games. My local church is having a fair here in Trinidad called Out of Lodipa, based on the story of David and Nephibosheth. So I requested to my leaders if I can make a virtual tour where the player will journey from a lowly village representing Lodiba to the king's table in the palace of David following according to the story seen in 2 Samuel chapter 9. I got the go ahead and this is the result. As we get into it, I want to say a special thanks to all those that tuned into the streams over the weeks. It meant a lot. Especially a shout out to Lamontes, Nora, Jonas, Lego World TV, Eli, Lady Rez, the F14612 podcast for inviting me on to talk about the project and others who came into the stream and spent a good amount of time chatting, which you will see popping up on the screen throughout the time lapse. Link to the podcast episode in the description as well if you want to check it out. And thanks to Yoni Karis for allowing me to use his music in the background and even helping to clear up some of the copyright claims I got from the live streams. So without further ado, let's finally get into the time lapse with Yoni Karis' Christmas Lo-Fi album in the background.
So I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse. I had a lot of editing to do to make sure it wasn't nauseating watching it and all the movements and irritations and places and stuff. I asked my mom initially and she said the first it first version of the video was very nauseating. So I went back, slowed down some stuff, cut out some stuff, and just edited it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. So now we're gonna do a little run through of the project. So when you download it, it will come as a raw file or a zip file and you just have to extract it. I'm doing it on my desktop, but you will have to locate wherever you downloaded the project to on your computer. It should be really quick to extract. So once it's extracted, you'll see you have a City of David file. And then you go into the City of David file and inside of here, you have another City of David file. Then you go to Windows and you go to the out of loaded bar application exe that was the name of the project and, and i'll just leave it like that so now you click it and you wait for it to load depending on your computer it might take a while and just allow that from windows firewall for with unreal engine projects and as you see we start off here in loaded bar now i do have a decent computer a very beefy computer at 2070 i could probably yeah i do have a 2070 and even with that it does give this computer a bit of problems to run i think i can show you that it is actually maxing out my gpu i am new to game development and stuff so it most likely i'm not the best when it comes to optimizing performance and those stuff so you see it is maxing out my gpu so that is something to be aware of but i do have the settings set to all high so if you have a lesser computer i did set up a graphic settings you press escape go to options and just set it to all low and then you go back into it so it would it would massively decrease the quality of the project but it should be able to run better on um, lesser computers so let's head over put it back to ultra and let's head over to the city of david so this is just a little village loaded bar you can explore it when you get it and you go down the highway towards the city of david and if you're on computer you press shift and you get a spin i got a notification there <laughs> You press shift and you go at like turbo speed towards the city of David. And you have arrived. So you press shift and you get a kind of super sprint. You see we have fountains. I like this fountain. I know back then wells were a big part of the culture back then. But I really like the fountains from the park that I got with the um, buildings over the um, well. Mainly for the water. I find it looks really, really, really cool. And then you head up, you could either go to the back of the palace, go to the back of the city and just like actually walk around and explore. Or you could go right to your rightful place at the king's table. I know it's a bit choppy. Carry down my graphics a little bit more. Just recording and doing this may not be the best idea. But yeah and on this table we have bowls i wanted to make sure the symbol isn't some kind of bad symbol i got it from a random free pack on epic games but here we have you know this is the king's seat i believe that's how it usually is set up so you have a bowl a cup a spoon and then you have a jar of there's nothing in the jar you can imagine something in the jar got a lot of chicken legs many many different kinds of bread from um i got these from quicksilver Me mega scans multiple different types of breads and some roast i don't know what meat but roast and sausages <laughs> and some fruits uh squash melon i think those are grapes uh, i believe it was a pomegranate and you see the melon so that's it for this preview project if you enjoyed please leave a like comment down below and subscribe and share the project with people with others and we mainly made this with the intent for the event my church is having but also it could be useful for seminary leaders who do courses like jewish culture or um 
youth groups who just want to do a walkthrough of the city of david that's my goal with these projects and why i have them up for free if anyone even if you want to like i don't know donate or help out i could set up a link for that if you want to help out uh, they just like fund some of the um to get asset packs like this asset pack was 30 dollars and stuff like that just if you want to help out and stuff you could um i'll allow um i'll set up a portal for like donations if you feel so generous not needed but if you but just if you feel like donating to help with the projects so that's it for the city of david in unreal engine 5 link will be in the description on monday i have some tweaks to do as you see I think this is hovering and just want to clean up some stuff like that and i need to decrease the project size as well so thanks for watching again and yeah enjoy your holidays as well and before i let you go completely i completely forgot i set up time of day settings so it would be one two three on the keyboard if you want to see the city of david in morning time like a nice sun kissed morning or a midday bright hot sun midday or like any night not too late in the night but yeah completely forgot about that all right bye now <laughs>